Teacher University. In this series, we are going to look at some essential ideas in important topics in mathematics. My name is Ban Ha, and today we are going to be discussing about the concept of percent. Percent can be used in at least two common ways. First, we can use percent to describe a part of a whole. For example, when we say that during a crisis, 90% of the aircrafts in an airline is grounded, we are saying that for every 10 aircrafts, 9 of them are not flying. Secondly, we can use percent to describe a change. For example, if we say that 90% of the flights are cancelled because of a crisis, what we mean to say is, before the crisis, there are so many flights, and when the crisis happened, every 10 flights that used to happen, nine of them are no longer happening. That's a second way we use percent. Let us look at some examples. A second use of percent is to describe changes. For example, here the number of items sold, say in a shop, over a period of several months is shown using a picture graph. We can see that the number of items sold increases from January to February. We can see the amount of increase. That amount of increase is this much. How do we describe this much? One of the ways to describe this amount is to say that it is a certain percent of the amount sold in January. We can see clearly that that is 50% of the amount sold in January. So we can say that from January to February, the percentage increase is 50%. Likewise, we can see that from the month of March to the month of April, the number of items sold has decreased. How much is the decrease? The decrease is that amount. The decrease is that amount. How can we describe that decrease? How do we use percent to describe that decrease? So this is the amount of decrease. So we can say that the percentage decrease from March to April is really 40% because two-fifths is 40%. How about from the month of April to the month of May? Again, we see that the number of items sold has decreased and that is the amount of decrease. And we can describe the decrease using percent if that is convenient. But if it is not convenient to use percent, I suppose I can say that the decrease is one third. One third of the number of items sold in April. We can say that there has been a decrease by one third. I suppose we can approximately say that the percentage decrease is about 30%. Or if you want to be precise, you can calculate that one third is indeed 33 and one third percent. But it sounds cumbersome to say the percentage decrease is 33 and one third percent. So sometimes we prefer to use fractions to describe change but other times, when the numbers are not cumbersome, we might use fraction or percent. 
So this is another use of percent to describe changes, whether it's an increase or a decrease. In this video, we look at another use of percent to describe increase or decrease. The use of percent to describe changes. What are some instructional implications? So students must realize that if this is the amount before and this is the amount after, they can see that the amount has decreased. And this idea is not new to them. They have previously described decrease by stating the actual amount. For example, if they know that this is actually 12, whatever, $12, 12 coins, 12 cupcakes, they could say that the amount has decreased by 12. So that is one way to describe a change by stating the actual amount. We can likewise say that the amount has decreased by this amount using fraction and this amount is really one-fifth of whatever we have here. So we can say that the amount has decreased by one-fifth and of course we know that one-fifth is 20%. So we can say that the percentage decrease is 20%. So it is important for teachers to realize that we have to help students make those connections for them to see that this apparently new topic of percentage change, percentage decrease or percentage increase is not really a new one. They have previously done so by describing the actual amount, by using a fraction and since they know that one fifth is really 20%, they are simply using that to do the exact same thing. That is something quite important for us to realize, that we are helping students make various connections. Likewise, if this was the original amount and this is a final amount, students can see that there has been an increase and the increase is this amount. And this amount is a certain fraction a certain percent of the original amount. That is right. It is 25% of the original amount. Students must realize that it is a convention for us to refer to the original amount whenever we use fraction or percent to describe changes. So I would say that there has been a 25% increase. Why 25%? Because the increase is one cube and one cube is really one fourth or 25% of that amount. That is another thing that is quite important for teachers to realize so that we emphasize that convention for our students to master this other use of percent. See you next time at Teacher University.